I mean, look at how easy that was. And if you're a server at a place where people eat with chopsticks, you will get so much more in tips if you just make this for the kids at the table or, you know, the really cool adults. Hello, it's Jasmine, and today I'm going to show you a little life hack on how to make training wheels chopsticks so that you can eat with them no matter how impaired you think your chopstick ability is. So let's get to it. You will need only a couple of things. The chopsticks that you get at a restaurant or a fast food place, these are from Panda Express. And you actually need something like this because you're gonna use this paper too. You'll also need a rubber band or you can use a hair tie. If you have a hair tie, I always do. Mini rubber bands will work great too, as you will see. So here's what you do. Take out your chopsticks. You're gonna split them apart as you usually do like so. So what you're gonna do next is take your rubber band and wrap it around the end a few times. You don't want it to be too crazy tight. So let's just say that many times. I could have wrapped it a bunch more if I wanted it to be really tight, but we'll leave it at that. So that's about an inch from the end. So what you wanna do next is take your paper and you wanna rip off probably about a third to a half of the length of the paper that it came in. And then you're gonna take the paper and you are going to roll it up like so, and then fold it in half like this. So just like that. Then you take your chopsticks, open up the end, and you're going to slide the piece of paper all the way to the rubber band through the open end of the chopsticks, like this. So now, what you have is chopstick training wheels. If you see, it stays open, but you can eat and pick things up, see? So you don't have to worry about the finger placement, you know, if you're not good at using chopsticks. This is great for kids. This is great for adults who just feel like they need help with their chopsticks. Let's test it. Okay, all I could find is this kazoo. I mean, don't ask. So pick up the kazoo, there you go. See, super easy. I mean, that's about the size of a piece of nigiri or sushi. So pick up your kazoo and... Okay, that was obnoxious. All right, that's how you make chopstick training wheels. This is actually a trick that I learned and applied years and years and years ago when I worked at a sushi restaurant to give to kids or to give to adults who didn't know how to quite use chopsticks. I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up if you found it helpful. If you wanna see more videos like this one or recipes or stress management tips or things regarding fitness and nutrition and whatever else I feel like posting, please make sure to subscribe to this channel. Oh, and since I've had a couple people ask, if you like this shirt or pretty much most shirts that you've seen me wear in these videos, if you love cats, I will leave a link to where you can get it in the description below as well. All right, thanks for watching. Bye. Ooh, real quick, grocery store tour guide, holistic fitness starter guide. This is full of a ton of things. It's great for kids. I think it's great for people going off to college. Of course, the holistic fitness starter guide, which is a breakdown of my approach when it comes to feeling your best, feeling your healthiest. It's on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below. Okay, that's it.